Good morning guys, Scotty here. Uh, it was windy and cold yesterday. My sweetheart didn't want to help me put these 10 frame bait hives up, so didn't do that. But it's quite nice today. Um, the weather does look like it's going to turn around for me, finally. Uh, last 10 days, two weeks I guess, it has froze or nearly froze every single night. My daytime temperatures have been up. There's a few days the bees have been flying, but not, not very good. Tonight looks like it's going to be about plus three, tomorrow night plus four, then plus five, and as the week progresses, plus six, seven. Uh, I think a week out, I'm looking at nearly plus ten. Daytime temperatures heading up into the upper teens, so almost 70 degrees. Spring, spring does look like it's here. I'm going to get these hung up today. I've got one of the little project I'm working on here uh, this afternoon, and then tomorrow I'm probably going to unwrap my big colonies, maybe even reverse a couple, and then Friday I'm going to bring down the nukes from upstairs. But those will be later videos. So in here I got some maybe not the nicest frames. There's some here that they're not fully drawn. There's a couple here got a little wee bit of honey in, but that's fine. Um, I couldn't find the aluminum and foil that I had used on the bait hives. It was a thinner, a thinner stuff. Um, I believe that stuff was for wrapping hot water tanks. This is quite thick. It's bubble wrap with an aluminum and foil on it. It's actually meant to go underneath concrete slabs uh, to prevent the moisture from coming up. But I'm putting that there uh, and I've cut it to fit pretty well, actually. I got it stapled down. Um, I'm concerned, not so much this year, because I've got a fair amount of time this year, but definitely next year. I'm just leaving these up. I'm not taking them back down, putting them away. They're on my land. I'm not overly concerned about leaving them there. Um, and next year, we're gonna, we plan to run the greenhouse May, June, again, seven days a week, crazy hours. I may not get to check on them as often as I hope. That's why I'm going to put 10 frames in. I don't want to give them the opportunity to build bird comb, cross comb, crazy comb, whatever you want to call it. And I don't want them to attach that roof. I'm not putting an inner cover in. Um, and with the roof coming down the sides, if they attach that, I've had that happen in the past many years ago. Hard to get the roofs off. So uh, that's why I put the bubble wrap. That's why I'm putting 10 frames. Then the roof just goes on, and I've put two screws in it. Just I don't have to be, you know, I don't have to send them home, but uh, just to stop, just to stop the wind lifting that off. Possibly raccoons, maybe a little bear. Hard to know. Um, okay, I'm gonna load up the tractor, and uh, we'll head up the road. I'm gonna bring the camera today. I didn't didn't bring the camera out there when I put those other ones up. But anyway, I'm going to bring the camera along today. We'll show you what we're doing, so stay tuned. Hi, guys. We're up here in the front field. Uh, this is the highway sign for our greenhouse. You can see I put one of the small five-frame bait hives up here the other day. I'm going to put the other one here. I put a couple boards here um, just, just so that it hangs better. Um, I don't know if having two of them this close together is a good idea or not, but I'm certainly not going to worry about it. Um, like I said earlier, my bee yard is about a half a mile north of here. There's actually a beekeeper about a half a mile south of here. And then actually there's a beekeeper about a quarter of a mile to the east of here. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I should just be able to take this and put it here. Just like that. Uh, I'm going to grab the camera and I'll show you my, my front field here. Just give me a second. So from my elevated perch, I'm looking north. That's the road that heads up to our place. And then, I'm not really sure how big this field is. It's got to be two, three, four acres perhaps. Um, I've got a bait hive. I doubt we can pick it up. Through those tag holders, there's more of a field on the other side. Uh, I can't see it. I put one up over there and then Behind those trees over there, I've got one, and then I'm also going to put one of these 10 frames over there. So that's where we're going to go next. Hang on, we'll be there in a minute. This is to the east of where that sign is, probably five or 600 feet. I had a little trouble getting in there at the tractor. I had to trim a bunch of branches. Um, really wasn't ideal. I had my sweetheart raise me up. She wasn't crazy about that. But anyway, that one's up, and I've got one over to the right, probably 100 feet away. Let me turn the camera. I put that one up the other day, so it's probably 100 feet away from this 10 frame one I just put up. And then I've got one, I'm going to have to go to a different position. I'm just going to turn past the car, past the tractor, 
uh, not the spruce tree up close, but there's a spruce tree behind that. Uh, that pale's an old well, actually, but spruce tree way off there in the distance. There's a dead, there's a dead elm tree sticking up there. Probably you can see. I've got one, one of the five frame bait hives over behind that. I wanted to show you this other field. So, so there's a, a driveway comes in here. I had some. I had a bee yard up here a few years ago. There's a really old video where my wife and I were taking honey off. It's actually just. Well, just there behind the tractor. Uh, so there's a driveway there, right behind the tractor. Um, and there's a ditch there with some trees. And then there's about a, I'm guessing it's about four acres. And this backfield's probably about two acres. I cut this once a year, just to keep the brush from growing. I had a farmer wanted to plow it and plant hay in here. Said to me, oh, those fields are growing nothing but weeds. Well, all those weeds make honey. So I cut it really, really late in the fall after the frost has knocked everything down just to stop the brush from growing. And slowly but surely, I'm killing all the stupid grass and I'm getting more and more weeds. Anyway, this is the front field. Like I said, about half a mile uh, south, half a mile south of my main bee yard. But we're going to head back to, the, to the, the house and I've got one more of these 10 frames I want to up, put up near the greenhouse. So stay tuned. All right, guys, camera angle's a little bit bad. The sun's there. I didn't want to put the camera over there. It's a great big old maple tree. I'm going to show you in a second, but I'm directly south of the greenhouse. Uh, it's the last one I'm going to put up today on this old maple tree. I'm just going to put this at a reasonable height. That is that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to grab that camera. And I'm just going to show you, show you the greenhouse. So we are about a thousand feet south of the bee yard. I know this because I had to measure from the house to that main building over there to put a uh, Cat 5 cable in for temperature and power alarms run back to the house. Uh, and those greenhouses you're looking at are 200 feet long, so we're a good thousand feet away. The one here right in the foreground, that's the one we turn the heat on first. That's actually where we start all our seedlings. Um, the one in the second, in the center there, that gets the heat gets turned on in there second when we run out of room. And that one up there at the front, that's actually our, our retail area. They're all 30 by 200 feet. They're all roof vent greenhouses. Um, you can just kind of see the roofs. The, center building there with the brown roof. That's 32 by 40, two-story building. Uh, downstairs is where we have a lot of storage and do a lot of work. Um, there's two hallways. One comes out the back, 16 by about 45. That connects to the back greenhouse. Uh, there's also a generator room there um, where we do a lot of the work. Uh, you can just barely catch the roof line where those solar panels are. That's a hallway that goes out the front and of course connects to the front greenhouse. So we can get from any greenhouse we want when it's snowing or raining. Um, so yeah, this is a look from the, the back side anyway of our greenhouse operation. I guess that's it for this one guys. I've got all these bait hives up. I'll just keep an eye on them now and we'll see if we catch anything. So thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. You guys be good to your bees and I'm sure it'll be good to you. We'll see you soon.